Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is The Outer Worlds. And yes, I know I am terribly, terribly late to the party, but there's a reason for that, and that is that I wanted to play it on Steam. And I sort of knew that it was going to be released on Steam eventually, and now it has. And with the delay of Cyberpunk 2077, we're going to start off a series of this game. And I've been looking forward to this, but uh, maybe not exactly for the reason why you'd think that I would have looked forward to it. See, I don't really have a strong relationship with Obsidian. I never really played Fallout New Vegas. I didn't really care for it that much. I played Fallout 3, and I can't really remember if uh, Fallout New Vegas had already already been released or if it uh, did release like after I played uh, Fallout 3. I can't really remember. But uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. I know that that is a kind of weird, uh, <laughs> weird uh, opinion to have with regards to uh, how well it, it is regarded by, you know, very many people. But there were a lot of things that I didn't really care for and where I actually felt that Fallout 3 was more enjoyable. So yeah, th it, it wasn't actually the fact that it is Obsidian who's that's making the game. That's not at all why I look forward to this. I look forward to it because it is a Fallout-style game, or at least uh, that's what I... That's sort of what I'm expecting. I don't think that it is exactly as open as a Fallout game. I don't think. Uh, I haven't really seen anything. I've been avoiding videos, etc. about this game. I have seen like a little bit of the in very first like 20, 20 minutes or so of the game. Uh, but that was uh, some time ago, so... It's going to be fairly brand new to me, everything here. Uh, but yeah, one of the biggest reasons, or the second reason why I sort of like this game is because I like steampunk and dieselpunk. And this is a game that's very much in that uh, in that area. And also Adam Punk, which is, uh, is a bit of a shame if you think about like Fallout 4, where you start in a house that's very much like Adam Punk and then it all goes to hell and everything is gone and it's all pretty boring after that. So I expect this game to be uh, a little bit more accommodating to my fancy of that sort of thing. But I think that uh, I've talked enough about why I want to play this game. I have been looking forward to this quite a lot and now it's time. So let's uh, let's start off a new game and uh, be off. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporation. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. I mean, it sounds good. <laughs> okay. Reach of hope, uh, something, something. Didn't get to read that. Some security beacon is checking in on a oh, vessel here. Who's this guy? <laughs> That's also very fun. Phineas Vernon Wells. Okay. Assume, presumably, a character we have to uh, consider in the story here. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the port's bottom line. Disgraceful. Well, I wholeheartedly agree with him. So, this is the uh, 
set up then of our character. And I am playing on normal difficulty. I felt that, you know, not gonna go for the hard mode in this game. I'm I, I, if, if we can change the uh, difficulty setting at a later stage, I might do it, but uh, I'm okay with being uh, being on normal difficulty. Right, so I know, as I said, a little bit about this, but not that much. So, we have uh, six points, and I would assume that, yeah. You could survive on the surface of Tartarus, briefly. And we can go below, we can go below one in order to get one point. That's okay, so how do we want to play this game? I don't really know. Right, so strength uh, deals with one-handed melee, two-handed melee, heavy weapons block, inspiration, and intimidate. Those are presumably sort of interesting. Uh, One-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak, and lockpick. Ooh, lockpick, important. Then we have long guns, persuade, hack, medical, science, and determination. Handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpicking, engineering. So we have lockpick here and lockpick here. Hmm. Oh, I should read the text up there as well. Uh, strength affects melee weapon damage and amount you can carry. Uh, dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. Uh, affects critical hit bonus damage. Ooh, that's that sounds important. Uh, perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Also seems Come good. On, Phineas, pick one and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chill out. Uh, sharp affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. Temperament uh, improves your natural health generation, as well as my ability to lie. Yeah, sneak, medical engineering, and determination. If I go below, I hope you won't yell at me. No I'll passive health. I mean, I'm okay with that. Let's save a point by having no passive health gener regeneration. I'm. Uh, I don't know how that dangerous that is, but we're gonna go for that. Um, and also, yeah, we have hack here as well. So hacking and lock picking. Sort of figured that that was gonna be a thing. So what we're gonna go for, I kind of like the sound of long guns, so upping my mind doesn't seem that bad. So if I go like two points each on these, means that I have 20% critical damage and extra 20% bonus to headshot and weak spot damage. As well as some engineering and persuasion I have here with determination. I kind of should I go strength for like some intimidation or do I go charm? I could like double up on the pers persuasion. Is that how you say that? Persuade persuasion feels wrong, but whatever. Uh, because we ha do have intimidate and lie here as well. So I lower this for lie. So maybe I should go like two points in charm. So companion ability refresh seems okay as well. Positive faction reputation reactions, negative faction reputation reactions down and up. I mean, that seems good, right? And if I put like the last here, because obviously a bit of a, a ranged weapon reload speed wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think I'm okay with this. I mean, I expect myself to be doing guns quite a lot, so ignoring strength at this point feels okay. Less, uh, like, no boni uh, bonus to melee damage, and I mean, the carry capacity I don't really care about. Ooh, Can go I down to you choice uh, minus melee damage and less carry capacity. I don't know exactly... I mean, these are the things that I don't know. I don't know how bad it is to lose 20 kilo of uh, carry capacity. Then we have tactical time dilation, move time. I know a little bit about that, so that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, that seems like a slightly bad idea. Well, fine, it does say tactical time dilation drain for movement is double. Uh, 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 uh. That's not a big problem, I think, but no, no, we're, we're gonna go for this. I mean, it ki kind of would like to go like high like on perception or something. But no, that, that feels stupid. Let, let's go with this. Again, have no idea. Never played it. Don't know at all if this is a good build or not. Right. 
Press E. Okay, okay. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So, I have two points. So what does that mean then? Uh, I can... Oh, okay, so, ooh, uh, okay, so I choose the entire group then. Fine. So melee, don't care about that. Ranged feels useful. So if I do that, they basically increase. Uh, so long on crit chance is at 57.6. If I pick that, we're up to 87.9. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Okay, so that's probably not gonna go for a dungeon block, don't care. Uh, dialogue, we do have some extra pers persuasion. Is it persuasion? That seems so weird. <laughs> uh, so 20, we are a novice. Uh, so cower, humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear at 3 seconds after the first time you hit them. Okay. And if I pick this, it actually doesn't change, but I do get up my lie and intimidate. So scramble, 50% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. So is that like an active skill? I would assume that that is an active skill. Then terrify, 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee. I mean, what do we, else do we have? Coward target armor? Not that bad, I guess. So yeah, we do have humans, uh, auto mechanicals, and creatures, so you sort of... I would assume that those are sort of the main types of enemies, maybe? Stealth, in here we have hack and lockpick. So yeah, unlock the ability to sell, sell goods on the vending machines. It's not exactly what I had in mind when I thought about hacking. <laughs> Uh, so, so the hack skill reduces the hacking time and number of bypass shunts needed for hacking and can allow you to hack an auto mechanical, uh, which is opened up where? Uh, at 60. So we have, we have a little bit of ways to go there. Lockpick still reduces the unlock time and number of magpicks needed to pick locks. I mean, it sort of feels useful to do this. And if I do that, if we... If you wanted to steal from the rich, you've come to the right uh, That NPC awareness DK rate might be an interesting thing. And on tech with medical, we have some drug mixing slots, etc. Science is plasma sh damage, shock damage, and science weapon effect. Uh, can tinker, improve your weapon and armor in the workbench. That seems useful, so I can do that already. And in engineering, reduces the armor parts and weapon parts needed to repair your equipment. That seems useful. As well as field repair if I take this. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. That seems kind of a quality of life thing to have that. And in leadership, we have right now plus three companion damage bonus. And on novice, novice uh, companion abilities, you can order companions to do special attacks. And inhaler heals you and your companions, but they they get 30% of the healing effect. That seems also good. I mean, we're gonna go range. That's just obvious. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you. But I'm a little bit unsure. I mean, I kind of would like to go dialogue because I know that you know talking to people is a good thing. Uh, dialogue improves your ability to talk to the NPCs both in and out of combat. Each point in dialogue significantly increases persuade, lie, and intimidate skills up to 50 point each. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to Persuade, Lie, and Intimidate. I kind of think that I want to do this. Because this is a game where, where I assume that we're going to talk a lot to people. So, just being good at that feels like a good thing. So with this, uh, unlock TTD location hit effects. Don't know what that is. But uh, I guess we're going to find out. But yeah, long guns. We are absolutely moving towards long guns. That seems that seems fun. Right, aptitude. We can have... How many can I select? Can I select like all of them? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no discernible aptitude. Fine, whatever. You are a okay, I can, I, I can pick, pick one of them. So if I take this one, I have determination. Don't know exactly what determination is. So we can have a drink effect duration, we can have block, persuade, uh, shock damage received, plus engineering. Could actually see myself doing that. Elevator operations specialist. I mean, this sort of feels uh, like the goat results in Fallout 3. 
Like, this is what you were assigned. <laughs> uh, dodge and ray damage received. Uh, food effect duration, corrosion damage, inspiration, medical, plasma damage, science, and one hand in Lee. I'm gonna go for the elevator operation okay. specialist. To to no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was it the wrong one? Uh, yeah, engineering plus one. I feel that that's a good thing. Now, as for me, I kind of like Ong as fem female, by the way. So let's do that. And those are our options. <laughs> so, what? which heads do we have? No, don't like that one. Not exactly what I want. Not exactly what I want. I kind of like the... I mean, sure, I can deal with this myself. You know what? I'm just gonna create my character here and... Uh, then we're gonna keep going, basically. <laughs> and say hello to Space Cadet number two. That, 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 that's us. We're, we're, we're Space Cadet number two. We're, we're nothing special. No one really knows who we are. We're not even Space Cadet number one. There was someone before us, but yeah. Space Cadet number two, that is gonna be us. So, summary for that is that we are a fairly intelligent and perceptive person who can uh, be quite charming indeed, but also has probably quite a bad temperament at times, which is an interesting combination. A sh charming, temperamentful person. So yeah, not gonna be good at the old melee, but it's gonna be good with the guns. As well as talking a little bit, and being a little bit sciency, with a bit extra in engineering. So, with that, let's uh, let's have. Uh, I've already forgotten his name. The guy was it Vernon or something like that? Let's have him pick us out of the uh, the sort of cryo sleep. Yep, here we go. Ooh, that 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 seems bad. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Well, I should hope so. He's just basically stealing me, in a way. Phineas. That, 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 that was his name. Phineas. Oop, that, that's not going well. So where exactly are we skipping? To Terra 2, probably. <laughs> the health seal system. That, that, that's correct, at least. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> it drives Shit. And I guess we're awake. Somewhat. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? That's reassuring. I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. <laughs> now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> His, his things don't seem to work that often. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. 
He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Sounds like my kind of guy. I you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay, so we sort of have the uh, goal set for us. And we've landed. Sort of sideways, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Well, at least I know what to do, apparently. That's good. Yeah, we're... Oh, 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 no. Not, not sideways. Yeah. Oh well, no uh, sense in letting his ship go to waste. That's true. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? That is true. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Okay, so we're here. What are these fussy things? Can I... Ooh... Fancy colors. If I, uh, if I was an LSD right now, this would be trippy. Wow. Okay. Uh, anything cool here? It's as if I should change something with the uh, graphic settings. Because it's a little bit weird when I move about. But if we're going to do it in this episode, then I might do something, you know, before the next, uh, next episode, I guess. So, yeah, uh, spaceport jump. Woo. That feels uh, like it should, I think. It's very pretty. It's extreme rip. Ooh, what's that? A little lizard guy? Is it? I don't know. Can I, can I pet it? I'm gonna pet it. Probably not. Okay, left control is crouching and also sneaky sneaky. That is perfect. You're, you're here still. You're taunting me with your cuteness. Let me pet you. Left shift is sprint. Also regular. Ooh, um. Okay, so in this game we just press it and then we sprint indefinitely. You know, either until I guess we have some stamina thing. Doesn't seem as we, if we do. So yeah, left control, crouch to sneak and avoid detection. But we're finding... Ooh, here we go. Adreno. Uh, let's, let's take the Adreno. Some form of adrenaline, then. Okay. While sneaking, use tall grass rocks or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies. Ooh. Well, that's, a, that's a fancy effect there. Makes it a little bit diff difficult to see where I'm supposed to go, but whatever. Where's the meter uh, over enemy heads tell you if you're unaware, suspicious, investigated, or alerted? And now they're very much non... Ooh, ooh, ooh. So what can I do here? Because there is no... I mean, shouldn't I be able to just, you know, go under them? Or... Okay, fine. The, the game is uh, the game is tutorializing here. They're going to be a little bit suspicious here. Yeah. But then I'm in the grass and they're not anymore. A little bit suspicious. Ooh, alerted. But we're in the long grass, so we're fine. I guess. You seem sort of agitated, to be honest, but okay. Right. We seem to be fine, anyway. And this would be the jump down where we cannot get back, so that's probably okay. So, let's stop crouching, because we don't need to do that anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is a time dilation thing. That, that was very unforeseen. You're not joking around with that. Okay. So, drop down here, sure. Ow. Yeah, took a little bit of tutorial damage there. Uh, you have low health, use the emergency medical blah 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 on F, I think it was. Ooh, there we go. So, th th that is that thing, the thing that heals us. Right, got that. Uh, nothing much else going on here. Ooh, there's a person here as well. What was this then? Come here. Yeah, guard Pelham. Before I talk to you, let's... Oh, okay. You try the best now. 
because we had to talk to you. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. <laughs> right, so, uh, with a medical of five that I have, I mean, doesn't everyone have medical five? Uh, Sisil, I'll patch you up, or what happened to you? Spacer's what? Yeah, what happened? No, actually, let's, let's talk about the Spacer's choice here. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. <laughs> we were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Sure thing. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, what's this about a marauders? What are you doing here? You're hiding a cave and you block up the exit. You're as good as dead. Yeah, well, but what about the marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. <laughs> flesh-eating and unemployed. Worse, worse things in a human a being. Good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Good plan, I think. Right, with Persuade, I can say that I have a better idea, give me your gun, I'll go help. Or lie, someone ground their ship illegally, I'll help them down for you. Or intimidate, you're an idiot. <laughs> give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Well, we're a little bit more about the Persuasion, so let's do that. Yeah, okay. You look hey. like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Good job, Pelham. Right, so. Uh, can you tell me where I am exactly? Did you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Well, that sounds good. I think. So, uh, yeah. Do you know anything about the hope, by the way? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you <laughs> yes. an anti-Cleo or something? Who's Don't take Cleo, this the whole way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Which, which company are you with, then? But apparently I can't ask about that, so we're off. We have a gun, and a whole lot of bullets for it as well. 111 bullets we got from that. That's beautiful. So yeah, standard procedure here, just shoot to attack, but there's some stuff here. Mag pick. So what's that? No idea. <laughs> we have some tartar sauce, some uh, pre-sliced pre bread. <laughs> or just, you know, sliced bread. But no, 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 it's pre-sliced. And fast ration pill. Have no idea if these things are actually useful or if they're just uh, stuff that we can you know sell or something there was something about selling things in a vending machine i guess that could be something that we can do that with right let's uh, blast some containers here kaboom ah shoo shut up <laughs> and Phineas is not doing so hot either so, crouchy crouchy, we're following the... This is sort of Super Metroid, isn't it? We're following the green little bugs. Question is, can we kill them? Right. I'm seeing a red... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. We got the wibbly again. Yeah. Here we go. Tactical time dilation. So the bats of this game. Man, Obsidian, you couldn't just have... Uh thought about something else instead of just a, a different kind of bat system, but whatever. Uh, due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Ooh. Pressing the tactical time dilation. Oh, that, that's TTD then. The button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing and still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time, and we do that on Q. All right, but yeah, I see, I see that red, uh, red square over there. Can I get a view on you? We have incorrect grumbling from a marauder. Now, can I aim? Yep, th that's the aim. Standard stuff again. 
Okay. Ooh, what's that then? Marauder Goon. Okay, so you're just chilling out there. Then we have someone down here. We can blow you away quite easily, I think. Like that. And then you come at us. And then we can time dilate and shoot your head. How are you doing? Are you dead? I guess you're dead. Uh, double click the jump uh, button to dodge left, right, or back. Ooh. Wait, what? That, that didn't work. How fast do I have to do that? I'm just jumping. Okay, I don't know how to do that. Uh, bit cartridge. What's that? Storing amount of bits used as currency. Okay, so bits are the currency. Light ammo and adreno. So take all, all of that, and you. Another light pistol, but that is what I have. I would assume that R is reload. Oh, hacking and picking locks. Let's see this then. Your hacking and lockpick skills helps you in getting to places you're not meant to be. Magpicks. I think that was what I picked up. Are used to break open locks and bypass shunts. Uh, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many magpicks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used, etc., etc. So yeah, I actually do... Oh, we don't have to crouch anymore, right? No. So we do get a uh, mock apple. Mm. And a bunch of nanners. <laughs> Man, okay. So magpick. We now have the number of magpicks that we need. What is the... I guess the number above is our skill versus how much we need. So, three seconds to pick this. And we get our telescoping staff it's a choice so that is a melee weapon we'll pick it up because we can hopefully sell it at some point and some fish sticks man they have a lot of uh, <laughs> weird food food types or food stuffs here we can sleep if you want to we don't need to some more mag picks fine right let's uh, keep trucking so far it's yeah it's a uh, very railroady but that's fine do we have? We have two. So I can get down into the grass. If I am in the grass, how well do you, the second one, like how well do you recognize that I'm here if I do something? That is something that I would like to check. If I... Oh, okay, fine. We'll take you instead. Let's uh, do a headshot on you. Apparently... Oh! You apparently saw me, like, really well. And there's, of course, a more people as well. Uh, oop. Let's uh, take a few shots at you. Oh, you, you came right up at me. Oh, you... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm basically dying. Okay, so I have already died. Beautiful. And we're back. Where are we? We're at this, this top here. Okay, fine. I need to... Consider my options here, I guess. Yeah, we're absolutely. I'm absolutely gonna take you out these two the same way as I did before, but I don't know. You're not, you're not dead from that. So, one more. Oop. You're not dead from that. Oh, but you are dead from that. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky, I guess. Not overly tricky. Uh, Thought that that tree moved. Yes, yes, we know about this. Uh, let me just pick this lock and I can get the staff because I would assume that this is the same thing. Right, okay. Well, let's uh, pick up. Ooh, did I just stand in the fire? I probably did. Uh, I still don't know. I, I don't get how am I supposed to dodge things. I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge things. Maybe I just tried to do it the wrong way. Okay, whatever. Uh, right. So how tricky is this? Maybe I ought to sh save the time dilation thing for when they come close. Can I see whether or not they have weapons or not? Well, you're standing still now, so let's just uh, actually... Oh, probably should have uh, probably should have reloaded, to be honest. So, yeah, oh, you're... Not running up towards me. You are, however, so time delay for you. Then we're gonna kill you. 
Yeah, that, that went a little bit better. I mean, I still took a little bit of damage, which is, you know, not the best thing. But yeah, we're, we're alive, so that, that's better. Okay, so, lesson learned. Uh, be a little bit more careful. Just a tiny bit more careful when you are engaging with enemies. Yeah. And also, since I am not a... This is not the melee kind of type. I need to be aware of their positioning a little bit more so that I can, you know, tactically position myself the best way that I can. Right, well, that, uh, that's the ship then. That is a ship from the uh, title screen, by the way. Absolutely, that is. Okay. Can I. Yeah, there we go. Sheet the weapon. Standard no RP stuff. I'm stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. All right, so Lieutenant Mercer, you seem like a hard ass. Okay, it's just landing violation. Let it go. Or so I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. Not impressed. Well, let's uh, inform you of your teammate. Really? How is he? Well, bleeding into layers, but still kicking. <laughs> still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little bit brighter. Am I sassy? I think I am. I, I'm sassy. Of I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. It seems as if she is not necessarily interested in taking on the marauders. <laughs> right, with the persuasion I can do uh, Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge. Ooh. Or lie, I bet you could uh, get this marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Or an intimidation check. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction. Well, again, we're on the persuasion uh, path here, so let's do that. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh yeah. Okay, so you are now going. So I'll let you take care of most of this, I think. I mean, I can help a little bit, absolutely. If I can. Okay, you want... You just ignore them. Well, that's nice of you. Just flat out ignore them and went for me. That's not nice. Well, we still get to uh, loot them and some... Canid Feral. Right in the fluffy tail of an adult Canid. Well, that seems interesting. Oh, you. <laughs> there's not much left of you. Right. Yeah, there's pieces all over here. Hey, well, that, that wasn't that tough, was it? Right, so what do we have to do here then? Talk to you. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. And I assume that you're not gonna help me out in any way. Now. I would assume that we are... Yeah, we're supposed to go to the ship, obviously, but there's some stuff over there. What about that is? That is the primal, primal behemoth. That doesn't sound like something I want to deal with just now. So let's actually move on the ship and see if I can gain access here. So let's open that. And we're in. That was easy. Welcome aboard. Be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Sure thing, Ada, whoever you are. Okay. So what's this place then? We're supposed to go there, but I wanna I wanna check out a little bit first. Maybe not that much, by the way. <laughs> uh yeah, are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo holds workbench. But we do get a sort of shotgun Marauder. as well as Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. I'm challenging you. I'm picking stuff up. You come at me. Toss ball stick. <laughs> okay, well, toss ball is apparently a sport, I guess. 
Can we climb ladders? Well, not from that side. Yes, we can. Cl can climb stuff. You know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do the objective, and then we'll probably get some time to Final look around. Access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. I'm gonna submit Hello. you to authorities. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Hello, Ada. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Well, those are some tall words, indeed. So what are you going to do? Self-destruct? <laughs> I'm not here to misappropriate anything or I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Yeah, what are you going to do? Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five. I like the eyes. <laughs> um, that's not going to work for you. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. Oh, poor girl. I have been programmed to express <laughs> disappointment. You do that very well. So, yeah, is this Haw Hawthorne's ship this then? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than... Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, he was supposed to meet me when I landed, but I landed on him. He's dead, and your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. That's a little bit too on the nose. So yeah, sorry to say, but he's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well, that's a nice little logic twist there. I get it. Yeah, you need me to be Captain Hawthorne as you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not how Hawthorne Hawthorne is that. I'm not that dim with it. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. It does indeed. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we need to do. So. Either where am I supposed to find something, or I doubt I'll find a port like that just sitting in a garage. Yeah, we do have some engineering, so let's, uh, let's go with that. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. <laughs> I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. I'll Your try. <laughs> identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Uh, yeah, 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 I got it. luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. And we have leveled up. Let's go into that immediately. So, on the Cleo management training, I like that. That's a hideous being. Uh, skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill melee improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add, add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Uh, every skill improve as you grow, improves as you grow, but special, unlo special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skill. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently. Dil diligently improve yourself and you too can achieve middle management sure thing so yeah we can now level up that means that i so how does this work then can i can i reduce uh revert please okay so so before we got just 10 in total and we got to spend uh, two of those uh on everything now we can spend one point for all of the stuff in here so we can like 
either go 10 on ranged or just you know the one so that that's okay so why are these oh from the hibernation suit okay fine uh, 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 so where would i like to go i mean i want to go up to uh 40 obviously uh long gun guns critical damage plus 50 percent that's pretty damn powerful let's go five for that and then some extra in dialogue but then i want to go up tech i think i think i think i think uh, or <laughs> yeah let's go rest in uh, uh, stealth here well actually no no okay can i just revert that yes i can let's go tech i think that this is sort of where i want to go with this character so range, range dialogue and tech i mean we are gonna have to do a little bit of lock pick didn't i have lock pick somewhere else no, th that was the uh, other thing. That is true. Uh, so that's that. Apply that. Yes, indeed. Uh, so some tips on time dilation. Uh, you have unlocked location hit effects on tactile time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TDD maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits of the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. And some combat dialogue abilities, you have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Okay. Then we also have perks. Selecting perks. Welcome to perk selection. Uh, on this screen you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. And Auntie wants you to be the your best to help her by help her be the very best right so we need five of these to go over here so what do we have uh extra base health not bad uh 25 percent more tactical time dilation meter max also good uh 25 percent damage when alone in party uh extra walk speed extra spin speed uh 25 percent weapon and armor durability loss down yes i sort of figured that uh companion crit chance vendor prices down and xp from companion kills or traveler you have been uh, you've become very efficient transporting goods maybe you should have been more as a cargo holder unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered not a problem right now but interesting to see and 50 percent extra tactile time dilation recharge rate also good extra 550 kilos of carrying capacity and 100% additional ammo stock on vendors and 100% additional consumable and general stock on vendors or base armor rating. Well, hmm, I mean, these two I don't care for that much, but it feels as if I will be using the uh, TTD quite a lot, so recharge rate or just more of it. I kind of feel as if the recharge is a good option because uh, then you can just use use a little bit of it and then get back. I think we're gonna go for that one. Yes, let's apply that. Good, good show. So that's that. We are then good to go. I don't think I have to do much more than this. So we have a few. Uh, ooh, we have a few rep uh, reputation things here. So Groundbreaker, Iconoclast, Monarch Stellar Industries, Sublight Salvation Shipping, The Board. No no one in secondary. So the uh, space guys. <laughs> the space guys that I've been uh, that I've been encountering now. Apparently we we haven't ha we don't have a reputation with them at all. Well, that's that. And you know what? With that, I think that we're gonna put a cut in here, our first cut. Surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. <laughs> sure thing, Ada. Yeah, we've uh, sort of just set the game up now, created our character, and uh, yeah, we're we're doing this now. So we've uh, allocated the uh, ship, so we have that, and now we are... I mean, it feels as if we're going to that settlement that the... Uh, 
the first guy was mentioning and it sort of feels as if we're gonna screw that settlement over by taking something from it that it needs that is sort of the uh, sort of the feeling that I have right now I hope not because that seems a little bit uh, a little bit evil so to speak but uh, <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens so uh, after this we're obviously gonna go out probably talk to the I don't know what she was was she a captain or something like that uh, talk to her, see what she has to say. I can do stuff here. Ooh, there's locked stuff. Let's take it. Okay, not, not from that, though. Th 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 this is a locker that you can take stuff from. But th this one you can't. This is even locked. Oh, well. I'll probably check out the unreliable a little bit more. See if we can just pick up some extra stuff, which I sort of assume that we can. For now though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.